now. Tonight, we're learning more about what the last few days have been like for the family of Easton Oliverson. He is the 12 year old little leaguer who fell from a bunk bed in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. He's been hospitalized with very serious head injuries. Fox 13 News anchor Brian Schnee has been staying in touch with Easton's family ever since the incident. He joins us in studio tonight. Brian. Well, Easton's father, Jace, told me tonight Easton is breathing on his own and some results came back showing that his brain is showing normal signs of functionality. Easton's parents told him what happened and why he's in the hospital now. His dad told me that Easton's overwhelmed with emotion. The tragic story of Easton Oliverson has been shared across the world. No matter what the outcome is, it's still going to be a long road for him. The 12 year old ball player on the Snow Canyon Little League team representing Utah in the Little League World Series is recovering in the hospital after falling from a bunk bed earlier this week. He was awake enough to where we can explain to him what happened. Some encouraging news on Wednesday. Easton was alert, talking, and had some sips of water. His dad also showed him a personalized video sending well wishes from his favorite baseball player. He was awake enough to where I was able to show him a video of Mookie Betts and the tears were just flowing. Before the accident, Easton, his dad and the entire team spent about a day in Williamsport. They got a chance to check out the stadium complex together and take part in media interviews and a photo shoot. We went from experiencing the, the highs of highs for a 12 year old boy, you know, to then fighting for your life, having a tragedy come upon you where it's like a life or death situation. And Easton's story is a miracle story. His dad told me that Easton is making great strides in a short amount of time. Easton is not out of the woods. Um, we still need those prayers. We still need someone watching over him, protecting him. And with the army behind us, if those prayers continue, then he's gonna continue to progress. Jace and his family have been overwhelmed with support and love. The support he says Easton is worthy of. For him to be at the state that he's in now is solely for the mere fact of the country praying for him. Since I first spoke with Easton's family on Monday, they haven't wanted this to take away from the entire team's success. So let's meet the team from Santa Clara, representing Utah in the Little League World Series. Number one, Jake Tomlinson. Number two, Dash Avery. Number three, Link Hafen. Number four, Chaz Hickman. Number five, Cody Raffel. Number eight, Brogan Coop. Number nine, Fallon Randall. Number 10, Preston Threlfall. Number 13, Reggie Entz. Number 14, Colton Ganey. Number 15, Colby Lamoureux. Number 16, Easton Oliverson. Number 19, Brex Whitney. The coaches, Jace Oliverson, Kyle Hafen, and Mark Entz. Easton's brother Brogan was cleared by Little League International to join the roster today. This is Team Utah. They play their first game in the Little League World Series on Friday at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. That game is televised. You can learn more at fox13now.com. In studio, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.